going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome to a brand new Clash of Clans video. So today is something really awesome, really unique, and pretty lucky, actually. You will notice that my Dark Elixir on my achievements is nearly full to complete Heroic Heist uh, Star 1. And you literally see, I need one more Dark Elixir. That could not have been done any better. I didn't plan it. Somebody tweeted to me last, last night saying, dude, you only need one more. And uh, I was absolutely amazed. So obviously, um, I should have a lot more Dark Elixir grabbed than I do here. But because this is all gemmed and we do the gemming sprees for every uh, like 100,000 subscribers or 10,000, 20, whatever uh, that we do it for, I haven't had to get that much Dark Elixir. So we're going to complete the Heroic Heist Challenge today. Hopefully soon as well, my Gold Grab will get 3-starred and my Elixir uh, Escaped... Esca escapade, sorry, Escapade. Elixir Escapade, it's getting late, I can't read. Uh, will be complete as well. I know loads of people will be commenting about it. You should have completed this ages ago, but I don't care. I've got a nice base, uh, and we've done the gemming videos for fun. So to get that, I thought there'd be nothing better than using Dark Elixir troops to get the Dark Elixir achievement. And what I've gone is quite interesting. Instead of the Go Y, Go Wee Wee, right? I was going to say Go Wipe. Instead of the Go Wee Wee, we've just got the Go Wee. So you don't need to go for a wee wee, we're just going to go for a wee. So it's going to go wee with a couple of minions, uh, and we're going to see how it goes. So let's go out, find a base to raid, and see what happens. Now I've also changed my base, you might have seen there. Uh, it has changed, and it's actually really good, and I'll go over that for you in a bit. So we could attack this one, but let's try and find something with 500 plus Dark Elixir at least. Uh, as much as 400 is nice, it would be cool to be able to like get a lot more from it. Uh, this one here is quite nice. I think it's all in his pumps, but that's a really weird base. Come on, give me something absolutely insane for us to take down. Like 10,000 Dark Elixir would be very, very nice indeed. Uh, this one's got 700, uh, but it does look like a base we might be able to like wipe out. So let's see if we can do this one. It is a Town Hall 10, but I think we could do pretty well on it. So let's spawn these out. We're going to spawn them separated like that. Uh, we're going to let the Mortars do their job. We're going to spawn in our Witches. No idea what we've got from our Clan Castle. Uh, just a couple of little bits, I think. And then we're going to spawn in our king, spawn in our queen, and we're going to jump over those four there, which should be uh, a perfect jump right there. We're going to freeze those three up, and hopefully we can push forward. There we go. We're going for the jump now, which is insane. And we got it! Heroic heist complete. Awesome. Uh, I wasn't sure if, like, that was going to work like that, because sometimes you never get any Dark Elixir, but it were to treat, the Dark Elixir raid is going well, we have wiped out his town hall, uh, we've taken pretty much all of his Dark Elixir from that storage he had there, and we've completed the challenge, getting the 50% as well, so we're on the 2 star here, the king has been taken down in the center, uh, our queen is pressing on, we've got golems around the left with some witches, this raid is actually pretty good, I never have done just golems and wi uh, witches before, but it actually has worked really, really well. So you can see we've pushed through the center and we've wiped that out. The skeletons at the top are doing jobs and they obviously work as a distraction. And with the golems there as well to take the brunt of the attack, it's a pretty unstoppable force to be honest. And I may start doing this as a serious raid. So if you want to see an attack strategy guys, we just go we to see how it goes against loads of different bases. Hit the like button down below and also comment down below. And hey, hit the like button because we just did an amazing achievement which is so, so cool. Um, and hopefully next is going to be the big ones, the gold grabs and the elixir grabs. I will try and plan... Oh my god, look at that giant bomb. Uh, I will try and plan that so I can do it in a video. And there we have it, 100%. And we can now go and get our lovely, lovely achievement. She is shouting at us, dude, you've got an achievement. Claim your reward, 10 gems and 100 XP. Very, very nice. So I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. It was a little bit short, but I just wanted to show you winning that and how lucky we were to be only one dark elixir away. Uh, if you liked the video, hit like down below. Comment as well if you want to see more of these little achievement videos. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. What is going on? It is Master Rolf here. Welcome back to a brand new Clash of Clans video. Today, we're going to be running over the max all Valkyrie raid, which is going to be insane. We've got 30 Valkyries all maxed out in our camps. And I believe we have some scattered in our class or castle. We do, but they're only uh, level 1. So it's not a problem, but it's nice to have those with us. We're also rocking the King, Queen, and some spells. If I can find the Spell Factory, here we go. We're using a Jump spell, two rage spells, and two heal spells. I hope that was going to be the best thing to do. I didn't know where this ring of lightning spell, but I thought because they spin around, they might do a load of damage if there is clan castle troops, and maybe we won't need it. I don't know if that's going to be a bad thing uh, in the end, but hopefully I'll be alright. Anyway guys, there is going to be a 25 days of Christmas card in here as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. It will be during the raid. Uh, I'm currently on my way home from San Francisco, and tomorrow the normal schedule of two to three videos a day uh, will continue. Anyway, 
Let's go in and find a match. So we're going to try and find something uh, that we think is c completely doable. Now, I'm not sure how the Valkyries kind of uh, can test with something like that. So we're going to try and find something um, a little bit better. Now, the thing with this one that I think the Valkyries might be able to do is jump over and take out the Infernos really, really quickly. I'm not 100% sure because I don't play the Valkyries much. But you know what? We're going to give this one a go. Let's do it. YOLO. Let's just send everybody out. To first of all take out these kind of outer stuff, uh, which hopefully they'll do. We're going to send a couple of Valks in there as well to speed it up. Uh, because I just want everybody to jump into the center in a minute. So I'm going to throw a jump spell down there. Are they going to use it if I throw them in? Yes, they are. Okay, so we're going to throw that in. We're going to throw in a load of Valks. We're going to do two Rage Bells. And we're going... Oh, I was going to heal, but obviously they've got to take out the Inferno before I heal them. Uh, but hopefully they'll take out the, the Infernos now. So I'm going to put two heal spells. There we go. They're being healed up. The King and Queen have come in there. Oh no, there's balloons. Come on, Queen. Take out the balloons. I'm going to rage her up so she brings out all her troops. They've pushed forward. They're starting to try and take out the Town Hall. I don't know if they're going to make it. Yes, they actually took down the Town Hall. We're on 34%. We've taken out the Clan Castle troops. There's still so many Valkyries around. Uh, they are getting healed, I think. Oh no, not anymore. The heals just run out. Uh, but we're still pushing forward. And we're still doing really, really well. 40%. Looks like we're going to be able to get the two-star. There's so many of them around here as well. Uh, if we had another heal or another rage, we could really push forward and do some damage. Uh, but look at them just tearing through this base, dropping people really, really easily. Let's see if we can get that 50%. Oh, no, bombs. Ah, they got past it. We're okay. We're okay. Come on. Get that 50%. We're on 47%. They're starting to die. There we go. We got the 50%. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, not sure how much more they're going to be able to take. They actually they have so much health, like surprising amount of health uh, the Valkyries have, which is pretty cool. Even the giant bombs aren't killing them, which is really surprising. Uh, the mortars are giving it a good go. They're all on basically like if they can all be tickled to death now. They're so low on health, uh, it's crazy. And our final girl drops down on a 57%. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, and they actually did pretty well. So there we go, guys. There is the all-max Valkyrie raid. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the like button down below and comment whatever troop you want me to do next. Uh, I hope one of you found the 25 Days of Christmas code. It was in that raid. So good luck uh, and trying to redeem it. But until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching. Peace out.